Guys, welcome to a brand new video. How are you doing? So quickly before we get into the video, what do you think of this new intro idea? Let me know in the comments. Guys, thank you for the love and the support on the last video. You smashed the like button. Thank you for everyone that's subscribing to the channel. It's amazing. Obviously, we're growing quickly, which is awesome. Um, and a lot of you are telling me that I'm helping you guys as well, which means the world. So the fact that I'm helping you guys as well as trying to improve my own golf game, that's what this channel's all about. So I haven't really posted many reviews and I couldn't honestly think why um, I've got a tournament on Thursday. I'm kind of going to start my winter practice early. Uh, the season hasn't gone out as entirely how I planned. I definitely it wasn't wasted. I feel like such a better golfer than I was at the start of the year, but the results just aren't reflecting it. Um, I'm now going to be getting help. I've now got um, Matt looking at my swing now. Um, I'm going to be getting Alison, who's a sports psychiatrist, who helped me get me through my playing ability. I'm going to start working with her in September as well. Um, I need a team around me. I tried to do it alone. I can't do it alone. So that's that. Okay, now that was a lot of talking. So 18 holes around Core Hampton. Um, uh, real mixed. Well, you'll see it anyway. Okay, so Core Hampton Golf Club. I've got a tournament here. 36 holes um, on Thursday, which is tomorrow. Um, first tee shot. Now, this place is relatively open. However, there are places where you cannot go. And that tee shot that I hit just there is exactly where you cannot go. So I basically lost the ball straight from the get-go. So I dropped one down the right-hand side, basically, where I would think on the day, if I hit a decent one, where I have my approach shots in. Because there's no point in me practicing hacking out of the trees, because hopefully I will not be doing that on the day. So this round, very hit and miss. Um, I had six birdies in this round, but I also had a lot of bogeys as well. Swing feels relatively uh, conscious at the moment. I have been doing changes with Matt. I'm definitely trying to come across the ball, um, trying to feel like it's a lot shorter, club face is closed, trying to hit a fade. Um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't we basically um have changed it so it's not as flippy so i've always found this year for example um, my swing or my ball flight even changes from day to day which makes it very difficult good birdie there very difficult for you to be able to trust it on the day that's something i've really struggled with throughout the whole year um one day my, one tournament my driving will be exceptional but my wedges will be crap and then the next day my putting and chipping would be epic but my irons um or my driver for example i just can't get off the tee i haven't had a round where everything works um which i mean i know that is golf i know people obviously that does happen but it's just too extreme it cost me too many shots um, and it takes me so too long in a round to get going. I almost need, if you look at my scorecards through the year, as soon as I make a birdie, I settle, I feel a bit more confident, and then I go from there. So um, we're on the third hole here. Um, these guys kindly let me play through, but again, you can see, as soon as, I feel rushed, as soon as obviously people are then in front of me or let me play through, especially when I'm filming, because I don't want to hold them up. Um, that's very typical of like a tournament situation. I like forget all the good stuff that I've done in terms of pre-shot routine, my mental, my visualization, and I just stand up and hit it. And being played through there, making that bogey on the par three there, that's basically um, me in a tournament at the moment. That's why I want to see Alison. That's why I want to build um, a solid mental game anyway, going forward. So went uh, birdie, bogey, birdied that hole as well, which was very good. And my putting that day just felt exceptional. I feel like my putting's really solid at the moment. Fatted that shot into the par three, which was um, inexcusable. It's a par three, I'm hitting wedge. And again, it seems like I'm very good at doing the hard stuff, but awful at doing the easy stuff. So back to three over. It's not the longest course in the world. It's been relatively dry over the past couple of days. I think we are expecting rain, so it's going to be a bit softer on the day. So I won't be able to get away with having so many flickings with um, three irons off the tee. But it is relatively open. You've just got a, there's one side of the golf course you can't obviously... Um, go and then the other's relatively open you can yeah. pretty get away with it so in terms of a golf course it is pretty much built for me i would say um par five here uh, chip onto the green and as i say my chipping looking back at this footage i can see i'm still coming across the ball which gives me so many different variations of spin um on the ball which makes it very hard for me to judge how hard i'm trying to hit it however it feels comfortable 
there's just no duff chips there's no thins there's no anything i can use that chip under pressure so it's definitely something i need to work on over the winter however it's not disastrous and it's not something that probably requires immediate attention putting as i said really good um and again this 99 here i've caught a bit fat i'm trying to not slide into the golf ball i've been um especially when me and matt were looking at my swing i've been doing a lot of sliding and uh, swaying even into the golf ball um, and I'm trying to stop that and it has kind of hindered my uh, ball striking a bit. Um, in terms of the game plan going forward for Core Hampton, short hinge early basically. You'll see a few of my swings throughout this round that were just pure, just lovely. I'll tell you there was a 7 on a par 3, I think it was on the 14th that you'll see. Exceptional, it felt really short, felt really controlled, the balls come straight out in the middle it's controlled in terms of I know exactly what I'm doing it doesn't feel like it's going to go a million miles and at the same time I'm still getting a good amount of distance out of it appropriate for a seven iron this tournament I've had a bit of a struggle with the fact or this season that sometimes in the rough especially when it's hot dry downwind I'm almost hitting seven iron from 200 yards just because I've been hitting up on the ball so much drawing the ball so much and you just can't control that it's just impossible in terms of trying to get it near the flag. So we're working on a lot more of a dark kind of ball flight, keeping it lower, a bit more spinnier, something that can be controlled. Um, and hopefully that's going to help in terms of scoring. Now, I made six birdies today. Two of them were on the par fives and then four of them were from everywhere else. And most of them with wedges in the hand, which is really positive to see. I haven't made near enough amount of birdies this season. More my birdies have been on par fives. Um, and in terms of par fours and par threes, they've just been, especially par threes, have been awful. And again, that's something that I need to work on especially. So 36 holes, I feel like, um, especially over the next few tournaments, next four, I'm just thinking long term. I really want to get a solid swing that I know what the ball's going to do on the day. Not having to keep guessing on the range five minutes before I'm about to tee off. It's just not proactive. It's just not helpful. Um, and hopefully with Matt's help, I'm going to be seeing him every couple of weeks. We can really dry, like grind in a decent swing that I feel comfortable with. Now, this was a very poor shot. Obviously, I've made back-to-back -back birdies, and then I've just pulled one massively left there straight into the stuff, which I didn't find. I've hit a provisional here, which I thought was pretty good, but it's ended me up in this trap. I think off that tee on the day, it's going to be a four iron, not a three iron, just so I can lay up, and it'll probably leave me about 160 to the flag. Um, I don't think feel confident enough to smash drive around the corner there, because if you go too straight, then again, it's lost ball. I think there's very there's a lot of opportunities to make birdie around here. I don't think you have to chase it, um, and I think it's just damage limitation. I think I've got to make sure that a I'm not walking away with anything more than a bogey on hole, um, and b I'm taking advantage of the holes um, that you can definitely make a shot up on. Now the greens were relatively slow, but I imagine that's because they're just letting them grow out before they cut and roll them. For Thursday so again that's something I have to really um, think about I was quite comfortable with this pace because they're rolling really well nothing wrong with the roll but they were a bit slower than what I'm normally used to so I've got to bear that in mind as well and, and as I say to that day it was 25 degrees it was hot um, and everything was running really far I was hitting everything a mile today it's dropped to like 15 degrees it's going to be wet I think everything's going to play a lot longer so again that's something that I have to bear in mind um, but otherwise, nice golf course. I'm happy with where my game is at the moment. I'm disappointed with the results I have had this year, um, but I'm not ashamed of them. Um, I think it's a learning curve. I feel like it's something that hopefully um, I'm going to be able to bounce back from. As I said, I had six birdies in this round, and I think in the end I finished five over. Which, again, I mean, I don't know what to make of that. Is that good or is that bad? It's something that obviously I'm capable. I mean, you guys have seen me hit the swing. I can hit that shot. I can hit that drive. I can hit it a long way. I can putt. I can chip. However, how do I get it to go all together? And that's something that I need to find out. And when I do find out, hopefully I'll let you guys know so that we can all get better together. Um, but some, it can be very frustrating. And I think that's what's limited me in terms of wanting to do the YouTube and doing the videos because I've just been trying to find or cling on to something um, that's going to help me grow. And actually, I think getting help from other professionals, Matt, I've, he's been the only person that's ever taught me 
again I've had one lesson with him and I'm walking away I know what I'm doing on the range when I'm practicing I know what I should be doing on the course and it's just having that safety blanket that I go I've got a plan I know what I'm working towards so when it doesn't go right I still feel like I'm working towards something rather than panicking going or maybe I'm not doing this right because I know how to teach golf I know how to play golf but it's very difficult to be adamant and trust yourself. Some people can do it. I definitely don't think I can. Beautiful three iron there. That's the kind of ball flight that I'm looking for in the future. I just want dead straight darts. I know that's easy to say. Everyone would want a dead straight um, shot. But I feel like if I put the work and time in, as I say, I'm working now as a full-time teacher on a driving range. I'm going to be hitting tons of balls. Obviously, can't neglect the on-course practice. But hopefully by um, next season, my swing should look pretty um, awesome and feel very comfortable now unfortunately i didn't film the 18th camera was uh dying on us so apologies for that but there we go there you go guys if you are still watching this video then i commend you hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed give it a thumbs up thank you ever so much for watching these videos if you like these videos then let me know in the comments because they are a bit of hard work but i enjoy it guys thank you for watching see you later